Welcome to Coffee and Books. My name is Ricky Stock. I'm the Managing Director of North South Books. And it's my pleasure to introduce today's guest, Hans de Beer, author and illustrator of the internationally best-selling series, The Little Polar Bear. His books have won countless awards and they have been translated into 30 languages. North South Books published the first Little Polar Bear more than 30 years ago. Hans, we are so happy to have you with us today. You divide your time between Holland and Italy. So do you prefer Dutch anise milk or Italian cappuccino? Please tell us, what's your favorite warm drink? Neither cappuccino nor uh, anise milk, uh, because cappuccino I don't like, there's too milk in it, too much milk in it. So I go for the real espresso, the Italian ones, but uh, then the homemade one uh, with uh, it's called uh, the machine. It's called the mocha. You put it on the gas and then it comes uh, not so strong and dense as the uh, bar uh, uh, espresso, but nice. Thank you. Um, your last name is De Bear, Bear, which means bear in Dutch. Uh, yep. Did your name inspire you to write about a bear or where did you get the idea from for your first book and was it meant to be a series? The name uh, didn't play any role uh, because uh, uh, I, I made a polar bear book because I wanted to try something for children and to try something with an animal that uh, uh, no one had done yet. And was it meant to be a standalone or was it meant to be the first book in a series? It was not even meant a real book. So because uh, when I, I, I bought, uh, brought it to North South uh, or North Sud in Switzerland, then it wasn't even finished. Uh, in sketches, it was, was finished, but the originals not yet. And uh, the, re the real problem started that uh, they asked me for a second one. So <laughs> then I had to uh, try to make a picture book uh, uh, really professionally and from the, from the start, from the beginning. Uh, uh, so, and then even uh, when I made the, the second one, I was very, uh, uh, really, yeah, I had problems in becoming the one of the polar bear. So I always said, well, this is the last one. Only when I have a nice new idea, then I will make another. So, and then now we are uh, at the 12th. <laughs> so I had 12 <laughs> nice ideas. <laughs> so you said you only write when you get a new idea. When do your best ideas come to you? When you're sitting down at your desk or when you're off doing other things? And also, do you work equally well in Holland and in Italy? Well, to start with the last one, I have worked in the most desperate uh, uh, circumstances. I'm very, I, I really only need a table and, uh, and a lamp so I can work anywhere, which I did actually. Also uh, in, on holidays, uh, in, uh, uh, on the beach, in Venice, uh, in Amsterdam, uh, Florence, everywhere. This is the big advantage of working at home. But uh, yeah, the ideas, this is a very uh, uh, vague uh, process. Let's say uh, some ideas I had uh, really working on it uh, and uh, thinking of it and some ideas I just woke up and then I had a book so you can't plan it let's say uh, it's and most of the time I, I when I think of something then I write it write it down even if it's a, it's a, an embryo of a book and and then I most of the time I leave it and then then it starts developing in my mind or sometimes I combine two different uh, things or three different things. This is, you can't describe it, uh, let's say. And when you are at home, one of your homes, do you have a routine or do you just sit down yeah. and start writing or sketching whenever yeah. you feel like it? The only one thing you have to avoid is to sit down with a uh, white sheet of paper and then 
then start. This is not the way that uh, how it works because uh, you think uh, of it uh, while not working. On my screen, you see the picture of the first Little Polar Bear edition published in the US. It looked different in Holland when you first published it. Can you please show us a copy of the first Polar Bear book? This is the what you show. It's it's the revised uh, version. Let's say a few years ago, uh, the the original uh, prints uh, started to grey up a little bit, and then then uh, not suit of Switzerland asked me to make a newer version with some brighter colors. But this is the original one. It's a little bit greyer, and this is the original sketch for it. I, I, uh, I have all the archives uh, still. Uh, so this is the, uh, a very archaic uh, polar bear. These are the sketches I made, uh, well, 35 years ago. So you see, uh, one have to has to develop very much his first sketches. The Arctic is changing and there are less fish for him to eat. When did you first make that a topic in the polar bear books? I always uh, thought of it would have been very awkward making books on polar bears and not mention the, the state of the Arctic. He decided to, to open Alaska for uh, new pipelines. And that, that, uh, then I made the reindeer that, that get blocked by, uh, by a pipeline. It was, I think, the first one uh, that I uh, made climate a theme. Also, in, in your new one, we see a cruise ship at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, the, the, let's say the, uh, the whole adventure starts because uh, tourists uh, show up in the, in the polar areas. Yeah. Tourism has its uh, dark sides too. Uh, <laughs> Do you have your audience in mind? Do you picture a child reading your book or a parent reading your book? No, 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 no. I really I make uh, what I like, <laughs> and, uh, and then I I uh, well rely on the fact that when I like it, other people will uh, like it too. And then, of course, I've been a child uh, for years, so a, a lot of experience. <laughs> but we don't have children, so I can't try it out. But, uh... <laughs> but it is success successful. It works. Thank you for participating. Bye-bye.